Today we are going to talk about the Mayan base 20 numeric system. At first glance, the system does not look to be complicated at all. You mainly see lines and dots and a shell. But don't be fooled by its simplicity. Their number system is just as sophisticated and complex as our own. To understand how the Mayans did math, it's important that you look at your own system first. We use a base 10 system using the powers of 10. There are 10 strokes to represent 10 number symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This system originated in India, but it wasn't until it reached Africa that the symbols came about. The Mayans use a base 20 system that has three strokes to represent 20 numeric symbols. These numbers are called Hindu Arabic numerals. This is an example of a base 10 system using the powers of 10. You will add them together, and this is standard notation expression. So with the number 2012, it would be 2 times 10 to the 0 power plus 1 times 10 to the 1st power plus 0 times 10 to the 2nd power plus 2 times 10 to the 3rd power. You would add all that up and you would come to 2012. We think they started the base 10 system because you have 10 fingers. However, it's believed that the base 20 system of the Mayans came from having 10 fingers plus 10 toes. Their system is a vegismal positioning system in which numbers in higher places grow multiplied by 20s instead of powers of 10. We will describe the system a little farther in a soon. It involves three symbols. You have a dot that equals 1, a line that equals 5, and a shell that represents 0. So you have a line that equals 5. Know that every single number cannot have no more than three lines. So for 19, you have your three lines, each representing 5, totaling 15. You have your four dots, each representing 1, totaling 4. Add them together, you get 19. So how would you write 20? Since the Mayans are using a base 20 system, then the floor starting at the bottom would be 1, then 20, 400, and 8,000 for the fourth floor. However, since the numeric system was developed primarily for the calendar, some changes were made so that the numbers were a better approximation of 365 days in a calendar year. The third floor went from 400 to 360, and the fourth floor went from 8,000 to 7,200. Now the number has to be less than 19 in each floor. Versus an hour power system, the number would be less than 9, or it less through or equals to 9. So how would you write 20, we asked? Here you go. On your first floor, you would have 0, so that 0 times 20 to the 0 would equal 0. On your second floor, you have a dot representing 1. 1 times 20 to the first equals 20. 20 plus 0 equals 20. Here's your examples of how you would write or draw 20 through 29. We are going to use the original numbers to, for calculations. To calculate larger values, the Mayans used tables of multipliers similar to the Babylonian mathematics. Like our numbering system, they used place values to expand this system to allow expression of very large values. Their system has two significant differences from the system we use. One, the place values are arranged vertically, not horizontally. And two, they use the base 20 or vegismal system which means that instead of the second position having a value 10 times that numeral, in the Mayan system, the number in the second place has a value 20 times the value of that numeral. The number in the third place has a value of 20 times 2, or 400 times the value of that numeral. This is how you would write 562,677. Start from the bottom to the top, and it's vertical. So how did they add? It's just like combining like terms. 
you see that you have one dot and one line plus three dots in one line, you end up with four dots and two lines. However, if you'd ended up with five dots, then you would translate those into another line, like you see in the next example that's a little harder. You do not have to use the zero place, as you can see in your answer for your second problem here. As you can see, adding is just a matter of adding up dots and bars. Maya merchants often use cocoa beans, which they laid on the ground to help do these calculations. This is an example of how you would add a larger number and combine like terms to create your new problem. We hope that you enjoyed your video today and you've learned a little bit. Thank you.